Yeah. Now, basically, randomness is all about probability, the chance of how likely something is. And although I do have a fairly high opinion of the human race, I think we're a pretty good thing as far as things go. One thing that we do suck at is probability. For example, this is Alex Day, Hello. who once lost $400 on a roulette wheel <laughs> in Las Vegas because he didn't understand <laughs> probability. You can bet on so many different things in roulette, like different variables, and one of them was just red or black, and it's 50-50. I noticed that the last four spins on this one roulette wheel, it was all red. Uh -huh. So I thought, great, I'll bet on black, $10 on black, and it came up red again. I wasn't dissuaded, I thought, now there's five reds in a row, that means the next one must be black. So I put down a hundred dollars on black and it was still red, at which point my head went, this is amazing, ran to the nearest cash machine, I withdrew three hundred dollars, put it all on black, and again it came up red, and I just kind of <laughs> stared down at the roulette wheel, like I just couldn't comprehend what had happened. So that's seven reds in a row, <laughs> yeah. basically. And then I walked away and then it went black, obviously. Of course. The problem that Alex had is that although after seeing red come up six times in a row, it does seem more likely that it would be black next time, in actual fact, those six spins that came before have nothing to do with anything, and you can't use them to predict what might happen next. We can't help but try and make those predictions, because that's just what we're wired to do. Naturally, we're just want to look for patterns, but even if red came up a million times, it's still just going to be a 50-50 chance that red will come up again. Humans suck at probability. Did you know that even though I've done like five of these fun science videos, I've never done an experiment before? I think that's sort of terrible, so I'm going to do an experiment today. For this test, I'm going to flip a coin 100 times and write down the sequence of heads and tails that I get, but while I'm doing that, Alex is going to pretend to flip a coin 100 times and write down the results that he would expect to get. Complete. Here are the results of our experiment! Do, 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 do. Now, although at a glance these two sequences do look pretty much identical, there is one key difference between them. The longest streak that Alex predicted to get for his pretend flipping was three tails in a row, but with my actual coin flipping, the longest streak that I got was seven tails in a row. How random! The reason this happens is that when it comes to randomness, people just naturally expect there to be lots of variation, so to Alex, the idea of writing down any more than three tails in a row just feels wrong. But the truth is that seemingly really weird things like getting red seven times on a roulette wheel, or getting tails seven times on a coin flip, these things do happen at random. In fact, it would be weirder if these weird things didn't happen. Essentially, however rare something might seem, if there is a chance that it can happen, then it will happen, provided that you give it enough time, i.e. you can be bothered to sit and flip a coin a hundred times. One very important thing to bring up about randomness, though, is that it isn't all about the probability of rolling a die or flipping a coin or whatever, but it's actually completely vital to all life as we know it. When a mummy and a daddy have a baby, just, just like that. That baby is made up of some genetic code from its mother and some genetic code from its father. But every now and then, at random, that baby can end up with bits of genetic code that didn't exist inside its mother or its father. The process of copying genetic code into an offspring, although very reliable, is not perfect, and so every now and then you get little mistakes, and those mistakes are called genetic mutations. And when these mutations occur, it's completely random what you'll end up with. Mostly it's sort of useless stuff like different hair colour and birthmarks, and sometimes it can even be quite harmful things. But every now and then, at random, you end up with something awesome. And this could be anything, you know, like longer feathers, sharper teeth, bigger muscles, a giant brain, anything that can help life survive. And then naturally, if you've got the bigger brain gene, then you'll probably live longer and be more likely to pass that big brain gene onto your offspring. That's natural selection, and it is what has allowed us to become the big-brained apes that we are today. And that, everyone, is why I think randomness is so cool, because it is what gives awesome things the chance to happen. How's that for a random YouTube video? Uh, you've just had the almost imponderable joy of watching Charlie is so cool-like, which makes you like cool. <laughs> Back to work.